Cemetery Path by Leonard Hugh Ross. Ivan was a timid little man. The villagers called him Pigeon, or mocked him with the title, Ivan the Terrible. Every night, Ivan stopped in at the saloon, which was on the edge of the village cemetery. Ivan never crossed the cemetery to get to his lonely shack on the other side. The path would save many minutes. He had never taken it, not even in the full light of noon. Late one winter's morning, when bitter wind and snow beat against the saloon, the customers took up the familiar mockery. Ivan's mother was scared by a canary when she carried him. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan the Terrible. Ivan the Timid One. Ivan's sickly protests only fed their taunts and jeered cruelly when the young Cossack lieutenant flung his horrid challenge at the quarry. You are a pigeon, Ivan. You'll walk around the cemetery in this cold, but you dare not cross it. Ivan murmured, The cemetery is nothing to cross, lieutenant. It is nothing but earth like all other earth. The lieutenant cried, A challenge then. Cross the cemetery tonight, Ivan, and I'll give you five rubles. Five gold rubles. Perhaps it was the vodka. Perhaps it was the temptation of the five gold rubles. No one ever knew why Ivan, moistening his lips, said suddenly, Yes, Lieutenant, I'll cross the cemetery. The saloon echoed with disbelief. The Lieutenant winked to the man and unbuckled the saber. <laughs> Here, Ivan, when you get to the center of the cemetery, in front of the biggest tomb, stick the saber in the ground. In the morning, we shall go there. And if the saber is in the ground, five gold rubles to you. Ivan took the saber. The men drank a toast. To Ivan the Terrible! They roared with laughter. The wind howled around Ivan as he closed the door to the saloon. Behind them, the cold was knife sharp. He buttoned his long coat and crossed the dirt road. He could hear the lieutenant's voice louder than the rest yelling after him. Five rubles, pigeon! If you live! Ivan pushed the cemetery gate open. He walked fast. Earth... Just earth like any other earth. But the darkness was a mass of dread. Five gold rubles. The wind was cruel and the saber was like ice in his hands. Ivan shivered under the long, thick coat and broke into a limping run. He recognized the large tomb. He must have sobbed. That was the sound that was drowned in the wind. And he kneeled cold and terrified and drove the saber through the crust into the hard ground. With all his strength, he pushed down to the hilt. It was done. The cemetery challenge. Five rubles. Ivan started to rise from his knees, but he could not move. Something held him in an unyielding and implacable hold. Ivan tugged and lurched and pulled, gasping in his panic, shaken by a monstrous fear. But something held Ivan. He cried out in terror. Then he made senseless gargling noises. They found Ivan next morning on the ground in front of the tomb that was in the center of the cemetery. He was frozen to death. The look on his face was not that of a frozen man, but of a man killed by a nameless horror. And the lieutenant's saber was in the ground where Ivan had pounded it through the dragging folds of his long coat.